If you think this place is holy, think again. Let's start by examining their altar. Oh, nice snakehead they got going on there and a really nice statue of Jesus. Love it. Let's get a closer look really quick. So you're telling me this is a pure, holy, innocent statue of Jesus. Yeah, okay. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the entire Vatican City is literally shaped like a whole snake. Here's the stomach, here's the head, the eyes. It's an entire serpent. And now I'm gonna play for you a cute little prayer that he says to everybody. With great pomp, fanfare, and ceremony, Pope Francis, the head of the Jesuit order, announced through his cantor the eminent emergence, the near advent of the coming to light of the Antichrist. In quam lucifer, quines ti toca so. Christus filius tuus, qui regressus ab inferis, umano generis serenus iluxit. Et te condivit et regnat, in secula seculorum. During this pronouncement, the cantor called Lucifer God, claiming Lucifer to be the father of Jesus Christ. The cantor acknowledged Lucifer as the Antichrist himself and worshipped him. To this, a great crowd and the whole world sang. This was the 3D ceremony that the Pope wanted to be seen worldwide. The announcement to the world, the son of perdition, this way comes. This isn't even half of it, but this is why it's so important to not be deceived. Our leaders, our religious leaders, our political leaders, they're all evil and they all play for the same team. There is symbolism everywhere and as you can see, they hide it in plain sight right in your face.